What up YouTube, welcome back to another tutorial from Vertex Digital Arts. My name is Daniel Lala and I'll be taking you through this tutorial and holding your hands through it. Because I know how you guys like that. Now, as you can see in front of me is a cool little UI that I picked up from the internet. This is just a basic picture that I added to my UI. Actually, for instance, you can see if I go and click any of these things, nothing happens. Um, today's tutorial, I'm basically going to show you how to open a website from your program. Now, the first basic things you'd need to know is that you'd need a, a certain amount of class, some code to do this. So I've, I've developed a class and I'm going to show you how to make it and um, basically show you some very quick tips on what to do and make it look cool. Now as you can see in front of me we have the UI. Just for example, just say we wanted to open up a website to take us to these links at the bottom here. For instance if our program wanted to see John Doe's sponsors which is at the bottom here and we wanted to actually go to their website and actually check them out. We'd like to click the Starbucks sign or the Nike sign or the LG or the, or the Adidas sign and actually open up a website for this. Now this can be easily done and I'm going to show you how to do it. First of all I'm going to close this up and actually open up my code or UI for that matter. And the first thing I want to do is um, take my palette tool, uh, the J label, grab a J label and let's just bounce it on top of this quickly doesn't have to space it out perfectly, you can do the nitty gritty stuff, I'm just going to do it quickly to show you how it works. Uh, I'm going to put this above my background layer and change the variable name to Starbucks. Starbucks label, LBL, why not? As you can see the label has a little bit of text, so all we're going to do is right click, edit text, backspace, enter and voila, we have it. Now I'm going to go up to my app package or whatever your package might be called. You can just go over and right click to it. And we're going to go to new Java class. Afterwards we're going to, we can name this class whatever you would like to. I'm going to go, go ahead and actually name mine um, site opener. Uh, that's a weird error but already created it for me. And as you can see, I've opened up my site opener, and obviously we're going to have to do the basic steps here by labeling, labeling our class, adding our parentheses here and there. I'm going to show you how to do that. All we have to do is go to public class, um, the name of the class, which is site opener, and add our parentheses. Obviously, we're going to get a bit of an error here. All we have to do is click this and change the, the package decoration to app package. Obviously you just add a bit of code at the top that says package, app package to tell my to tell my program that this class is in the app package. Afterwards it, here here's basically the basic code you'd need to perform this task of opening a website as you click a label. So we're just gonna make a class called um we can call it open website. Open website and in our little curly brackets here, we're going to have a string, the site name. And add a little parentheses and voila, we have it. Now all we have to do is create our try and catch. Our try and catch is basically going to catch an error from our code. If the, if the program or application finds any errors, then it's definitely going to catch it and basically display a message to us saying, this is your error, sort it out, whatever, whatever. So we're gonna go ahead and create a process. You don't have, you don't need any internet downloads or anything for this. It's basically in Java already. We're gonna call it process p. Uh, we basically declared it there, and then we're gonna go under it and go p equals runtime dot get time. Oh, actually popped it up and helped me about it a bit here. Uh, dot exe c and then string command and obviously in your string command I would actually put uh, take a side name quickly and I would add, add my little quotation marks cmd space forward slash c start space and then you're going to add your string which is site name alright um, what would be better if we change this to site link 
because you end up gonna you're gonna end up putting a link here. So I'm gonna change it to site link and change it to site link. Sorry about that. But it would end up better if we do it this way. It'll, it'll help you to understand. Also, we're just gonna add our little cool marking there for Java to tell that's the end of the end of the line of code. Now, obviously, we have a bit of an error here. This basically means that. Um, we are missing a catch. When you use a try, you have to you have to have to use a catch. So I'm gonna press enter here, create my catch. That's simply all you have to do is type catch in our brackets. I O, sorry I O, exception, and we can put any variable name or object name. I'm gonna go with E, and then I'm gonna add my little cool thing here, and then I'm gonna use a G option pane message dialog. Show message dialog, and in my message dialog, I'm gonna basically um, just display my my error message, so to say. So we can we can say error. Oops, sorry. And then we add it here. Now, obviously, afterwards we're gonna have to import our J option pane because it needs an import for this. So you just click the little globe. Add input to the actual swing, and then you do the same, and we are basically done. That's all you've needed to, for your class. That's literally the simplest thing you've needed for your class. And we're gonna ha go ahead and save our class, and um, I'm gonna leave that open and go back to my UI here. And as you can see, just say we have our little cool Starbucks sign that we need to use now. We're gonna right click it, event key oh sorry mouse mouse clicked when we get to our mouse click this is it, all the code that, that that happens as you click the mouse is gonna is gonna appear here so whatever code I put in here as the mouse is being clicked towards that label it's gonna run that piece of code so all we have to do is basically let's go ahead and declare our class so we're gonna go ahead and say site opener um, let's make a cool little OBJ there. You can name it whatever you want. You could make it run or, or whatever. We'll, we'll name it run for the for the sake of it. And we're gonna go ahead and say new space site opener. Make sure you have this proper syntax, um, which means basically your capitals and the lowercase needs to be the same. You ended up with that, and voila. Afterwards, you're gonna go run dot open website and then our site link so obviously we want to basically go back to design here and we want the link for Starbucks so I'm gonna go ahead and find the link for Starbucks because I honestly don't know it Starbucks yay let's find it out shall we so obviously it's the standard www.starbucks.com and I can just grab this link copy it Close this up, you don't need that anymore. Go back to my code. And in here I'm gonna add that link. Obviously it's giving me a bit of an error. All you have to do is add your quotient marks. Because it obviously is a string as well. And you, then you then you click save or you can basically save your class or control S for save. And when we go back to our design, so as you can see that we have added our code to the label and now we're just going to do a bit of fine tweaking so make sure you have your label selected like I do then we're going to go to properties and go down to cruiser now basically the default cruiser is the one that's basically here like this whole little mouse thing the pointer that's your default I want to go to hand cruiser because when they hover upon this label it's going to change to a hand cruiser which basically means or tells the user that this can be clicked so if I go ahead and run my code now, close this up, make it look pretty, and I go over and BAM! I got my little mouse cruiser, as you can see, changes. And if I click this, it's going to open up my Starbucks site. And there you have it. Your Starbucks site is opened, obviously my internet is running relatively slow for some reason. And um, I can go ahead and buy my coffee or whatever flip I wanted to buy. I'm going to go ahead and close it and you can do it basically for um, the, the Nike and the LG and 
and the Adidas. It's very simple, very easy steps to do. And I'd like to thank you for watching. Um, if you didn't understand, please make sure you comment. And once again, thank you for all the support that you guys have been giving us. And YouTube, we'll see you later.